Hello, my name is Shelby Nolan, and today we'll be talking about Ebola. Okay, today we're gonna focus on three main parts. How oh, do I write part? Um, the first one would be um, we're gonna talk about the symptoms, and again, all right, symptom. Um, okay. Okay, and the second thing we'll be talking about in this video is the origin, basically where it bullets from. Um, and then for the third and final part of this, we'll be talking about the agent and the host um, of this virus. Um, Anyway, before we start all this, let's go on a little bit Ebola's history. So, Ebola was first detected in Africa in about 1976. Um, okay, so yeah, Ebola was developed in 1976. Apparently in Africa, not Africa, Africa, whatever the heck that says. It started in two places. Um, the first one was um, uh, Sudan, and the second one was Zer. I'm sorry, doesn't really know how to pronounce the name right. Well, it's in Sudan. I think I got that right. Um, anyhow. The first place was, of course, in Sudan. That's where it was detected in Africa. And, um, okay, so in Sudan, it affected around, uh, well, shit, not affected, infected. Infected around um, 284 peoples. Yeah. Um, okay, and it was like it was in a rate of about well it was in the model modelly rate of about fifty percent and then the next time it was affected was in Zara in a place called um Yambuku. I don't really know how to pronounce that. Um Okay, so yeah, in a place called Yambuku, and there, it the percentage of weight was about 88 percent. Well, the mortality rate of it was about 88 percent, and it killed. Well, it infected about 318 people there. Um, well, then side with all the effort of scientists for research and stuff, they never really find out where um, Ebola's natural reservoir is. But anyhow, Ebola was transported from the US by a monkey. Um, so, by this time, Ebola was like in the monkey, of course. Um, um, okay, so. But then Ebola got transported to a person, first by a researcher girl that was doing lab and ends up getting affected by Ebola because of her pet, a chimpanzee. Um, okay, so that's enough of history. Now let's talk about Ebola itself. It kind of looks like a little worm. Uh, yeah, it's really small. Not some naked eyes can really see. Anyhow, uh, the hosts of Ebola were mostly known as bats. Yeah, I know, bats. And human. Those are the well, not bats exactly, animal in general. But anyhow, it is not a 
contagious uh, disease like again repeat it is not contagious if I am pronouncing that word if I am even pronouncing that word right it is not contagious anyhow um, some of the way you can actually get Ebola is through body fluid meaning that getting blood on you not a good idea as in like if you end up touching somebody or you know shake hands with somebody that actually have Ebola in their skin it's up having an opening you surely to get Ebola um, anyway some of Ebola's symptoms I mean you probably want to know when you get them like probably um, well, okay, so the first one is red eye. Yep, make sure your eyes red. And, well, they don't necessarily go in order, but then you end up having headache, which, of course, you might think would solve with some aspirin, but nope, that ain't happening. And then you get some joint and muscle egg I mean if you're one of the guys who like to work out that means no jam for you so yeah and also um, Ebola will also give you some really really bad vomiting habits um, and sometimes there'll be blood and sometimes there'll be stuff that you don't remember that you've eaten so okay so one thing that I did not say I was gonna go over is basically how to stop the outbreak um well I guess for my plan to stop the outbreak would be to um, actually cut the connection between traveling from Africa and the US um, and also I would try to stop having hunting which would include them which will include giving them food so they don't starve um, so, yeah, it's pretty much it. We would have them stop hunting, which I guess would take their hobbies away, but stop hunting and no Ebola. And that's it.